problems. I think, hopefully, I'm told we're okay now. So we've got an audio check. So again, apologies for the slightly uh, slightly um, late start and the technical issues. But let's uh, let's get down to uh, let's get down to the the, the content of the uh, of the webinar. If I could advance the slide, that would be good. There we go. So, okay, let's start by taking a look at the uh, the, the subjects that we're going to be looking at through the throughout the course of the webinar today. Um, I'd like firstly to start by talking a little bit about the market growth because if there isn't market growth, it doesn't represent any any good potential for us to uh, to, to sell product. So the market growth's got to be there. We'll take a look at that in uh, in a little bit more detail throughout the uh, uh, the course of the webinar as we look at different uh, different product categories. And then uh, the first half of the webinar is going to be dedicated towards intelligent displays. So we're going to spend some time looking in detail at uh, the, our new well, our new, our LED video wall products, which actually you can see behind me. That's an example of, uh, of the video wall. So uh, seamless, uh, seamless integration of, uh, of individual panels. We'll also then take a look at the LCD video wall. So slightly lower budget, lower budget product, but still able to deliver uh, an excellent product for large screen displays for control rooms etc <clears throat> and then again to look at a slightly different product but still using uh, digital displays and that is the signage product and the signage product really does represent an, an excellent sales opportunity and a really great product portfolio to be able to sell to uh, to our customers and then wrap up the display section by looking at uh, interactive displays uh, so these are the sort of displays that uh, may be applicable to perhaps an education uh, or a conferencing type application, but very, very popular part of, uh, of our product portfolio. And then in the second half, we'll start talking about our network, our smart networking products. So we'll talk about our second generation PoE switches, uh, and then we'll talk about our maintenance, our brand new maintenance platform, the iLinks View. Uh, platform, which uh, which is available um, actually in a in a box in a box like this. So we're going to be talking more about this box a little bit later in the uh, webinar. Um, we'll have Q and A throughout the uh, throughout the course. So, uh, but it doesn't work very well on audio. So if you have a question, then please uh, type it in using the uh, the chat function. We have a team of people here uh, with with me in our headquarters in Maidenhead. And we're able to answer those questions for you in in real time. And if we can't, we'll come back to a little bit later. But we'll also try and take some live as we go through throughout the webinar. <coughs> but then finally, um, the quiz. We have a bit of a fun quiz. It's only five questions. Um, there is an opportunity uh, to uh, to win a Dawa goodie bag full of uh, full of Dawa goodies. Um, so quite an exciting, uh, a, a nice prize for you to to take away. So da download the Kahoot. Um, applic application if you don't already have it and again get ready to uh, to take part and have a little bit of fun at the uh, at the end of the webinar i will show you i will show you that slide again because you'll need that pin number we'll show it at the end but good opportunity to uh, to to download the uh, the kahoot app okay so <clears throat> to tell you firstly um before we get on to the sort of the market growth Let's talk a little bit about the uh, our sales history in the uh, the display the, the display market. So Dow has been manufacturing high quality displays since around about 2008, and all the way through to 2020, you can see that we've experienced massive growth in this market. So we are now considered, if you look at some analysis on a worldwide basis, we are considered to be a leading display products provider. And if you look at our estimated revenue next year, it's actually estimated to be around about half a billion US dollars. So it's a massive part of, of our revenue stream as, as a company. But interestingly enough, interesting to note that even as you as you look at the, 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 the bad year that we had last year because of the global pandemic, we were still able to achieve um, you know, percentage, a good percentage growth. And of course, that translates to, 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 a, lot of, uh, to a lot of dollars in uh, in financial terms. So even during a global pandemic, there is still growth in this market. So let's have a look at uh, some of these video walls and, and look at how they're, how they're made up and the different applications and the opportunities that they, uh, they may represent. To start with, at the, uh, at, the basic, at the basic end of the market for control rooms, and, and indeed something I'm looking at right now, is our monitor business. So these are desktop, often desktop mounting, uh, mounting, they can be um, mounted on visa brackets, that sort of thing. Uh, but they have generally quite a wide border or a bezel, 
and it's very difficult to splice to splice them together if you like <clears throat> if you want to get into the splicing market then you need to consider either lcd or led and we're going to be looking at the lcd and the led market in a little bit more detail as we go throughout the webinar but lcd panels are something of course that i'm sure we're all familiar with from the domestic market and we sell hundreds of thousands of these products in different screen sizes all over the world every single day. Um, they tend to come in, as you'll see, in, in various fixed sizes, as, as you, would, you would expect. And they come in also various bezel width. So if you just have a, you just want a standard monitor in maybe a control room, you kind of don't really care so much about the, uh, the width of the bezel. <clears throat> but if you want to link them together, if you want to create towards a video wall, then you do care about the bezel, and that's why we have a lot of different uh, different solutions for uh, for that market. But if you want to go large and you want to go to the largest, then you would need to consider again something like the product that you can see behind me, <coughs> and that's something like about six or seven meters by about three meters tall, um, and it's made up of of individual um, we call them tiles, so individual segments that look like this uh, on an aluminium frame, and all the electronics is 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 done here. Very, very thin panel. And again, we're going to look at these in, in more detail, but you can link these panels together to give you massive displays, as, as you'll see. So, in fact, let's continue with the theme of the, uh, the video wall <clears throat> and, and take a look at some of the, uh, the trends there. Where are video walls LED? These are LED panels now, not LCD. They are LED panels. So where are these tending to be used? Well, I think a lot of it is, is perhaps obvious. But all of these represent good opportunities um, to, to deliver high quality images in, in large, large venues generally. <clears throat> so exhibitions and events um, for lectures, concerts, seminars, um, live music when, when we return eventually to, uh, to, to concerts. In, in retail, in large shopping malls where you're playing content advertising through, through, these, through these very, very large displays. And again, sporting events uh, for, for live sporting, uh, where you have the panels that go all the way around the outside of the, of the stadium. Then there's lots of different opportunities for, uh, for, for LED, LED panels. <clears throat> and if we look at our sales, um, you can see that all, you know, from 2019 to 2020, our sales were, were more than double. In fact, in fact, last year was, um, I think it was averaging, it's averaging 90, 97%. Last year, it was more than double. So sales are really accelerating. And what's driving that is, is the, um, the, the new technology, which is driving down the price, the pr production cost, which is driving down the price to you, the customer, at the end of the day. And that is really feeding this uh, large amount of growth. One of the applications <clears throat> that we're most proud of and, and is actually being installed at the moment is for um, a, a large display in the Beijing Olymp for, the, for the Beijing Olympics next year in, uh, in, in 2022. So you can see, um, actually, these are fairly, fairly recent pictures of the, uh, the panels being, uh, being assembled and perhaps not so clear to look at to, to see on a webinar. <clears throat> but you can see the scale of, of this. In fact, the panel is 177 square meters. So it is a giant panel uh, and it's made up of hundreds and hundreds and hundreds, well, prob probably thousands of, the, uh, of, of, this type of this type of display uh, panel that, we, uh, that we, look, we looked at earlier. These are all segmented together. And in fact, one of the other opportunities that this can bring is, is that you can add a, a curvature, to, you can add a curve to the screen because it's such a large, such a large surface area, you can actually start to uh, create a curve but again you'll you'll see that in uh, when, when it's working next year if you uh, watch the olympics but there are other commercial applications uh, the olympics is a great application we're very proud of that and we're very proud to be part of it but of course day to day the, you, you, there aren't very many olympics <clears throat> so therefore the 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 day-to-day -day application is is a lot different we're, we're more seriously considering applications uh, like retail, as we said, like like um, security applications, like large control rooms, etc. And these panels are ideal for that because they can be scaled to to suit the individual customer needs. So let's take a look at some of the uh, the solution values. Well, the first one, as as I said, is pretty obvious. It's seamless splicing. 
because the panels are abutted directly next to each other, then there, there is no bezel, there is no join. So when you look at that panel, when you look at the panel behind me, you, you don't see the joins between the panels because, and you'll see this shortly, because they're joined and clamped directly, <clears throat> directly together. So seamless splicing, splicing is a really, uh, is a really key part of it. High quality performance, um, 4, 4K resolution, um, massive, massive uh, resolutions possible with these panels, making them ideal for, for large venue opportunities. It's modular, uh, so you can build them, you know, in, 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 because they come in cubes, you can build them as wide as you like or as tall as you like. Um, and in fact, there are either, there's even indoor and outdoor versions that you'll, you'll see a little bit later. There's also different uh, form factors for, for LED video walls. You can have them um, transparent. Uh, we can make a, a transparent LED wall. Um, there's opportunities for indoor, for outdoor, and also for the, the rental LED market, which for events, as you can imagine, and concerts, are very, very, it's a very, very good opportunity. But it is a complete LED video wall solution. Uh, we can provide everything from the, uh, from, from the, of course, the frames to the panels, to the drivers, to the technology that make, makes it all work. We, we can provide, as you would expect from Dawa, as an end-to-end -end solution provider, we can provide all of the individual components that make up the solution for the customer. <clears throat> and I'm sure you've, you've seen this sort of, uh, you, you've sort of seen this technology uh, being used before. Here, here's a couple of, of examples. One of the key things about, uh, about the panel is the fact that it has seamless splicing. Okay, so you don't see the lines between the individual panel. <clears throat> but how's that possible? Well, if we look at the, uh, if, if we look at the different um, form factors, I touched on indoor, I touched on outdoor. So these are different, different type of construction depending upon the, uh, the individual application. There's also, as we'll see in a moment, there's also a, a good rental market. For, for both indoor and outdoor. And again, for retail, there's even a transparent LED panel. <clears throat> and if you visit our YouTube channel, you'll see, you'll see um, us doing demonstrations of the, uh, of the transparent LED. Not for every market, but in the retail market, it can be very popular because you can actually see through the panel as well as seeing the information displayed on the panel. So really, really uh, a key product as far as retailers are concerned. How do we deliver this uh, this high quality? And and it is through uh, using high quality LED LED diodes themselves, uh, high quality uh, driver chips, as you saw mounted to the back of the uh, mounted to the back of the panel, uh, high quality power supplies, and and one of the key things really is also the cabinet material. So the frame, if you like, of of this. When you're building a, a display that may be 30 meters tall, it's important. There's a lot of weight there. There's a lot of um, infrastructure hanging on that frame. So the ability to have a, a, a robust, high quality cabinet is really critical. Otherwise you'll get all sorts of warping and, th and there'll be, that can lead to damage and pixel distortion. <clears throat> and again, we do that using, the, using this modular design principle. So the panels are bolted to, to big aluminum die cast frames uh, and, and that gives us the stability that we need it enables us to to uh, not only bolt the you can see on the left hand side uh, over here we can bolt we, we're bolting the panels to the frame and then the frames uh, this is the frame itself and this is the completed product viewed from behind and then we bolt these frames together so you just make more of them so a bit like a meccano set if you like a bit like lego you just keep building more and more and more to make a to, to make a screen or a solution that fits the customer's requirement but I also touched on the fact that uh, there's a big, big market for uh, for rental of these product. <clears throat> so we also make a, 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 a rental version. So instead of, as in the previous slide, bolting these metal frames together, uh, well, with the rental market, we still do exactly the same thing. But this time, um, instead of using uh, nuts and bolts, screws and washers, we have these um, easy, um, easy release, quick release mechanical connectors. So these are big connectors that just pull down and they clip the product together. They clip the aluminium die cast chassis together. So that bolts it together. But, it, but one of the key things is it makes it easy to assemble and disassemble at the end of, uh, of an event. Not only do we need to consider the uh, mechanical connection of these panels, but we also need to think about the electrical connect connections. 
So of course, as you would expect, we use high quality IP, IP65 rated connectors, because again, it's an indoor product, it can be a, an outdoor product. So uh, um, really important that not only do we use a good mechanical solution, but also that we use um, 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 an IP65 rated, uh, rated connectors. Ah, and actually, uh, talking about uh, Q&A, and uh, on the chat, I can just see a questions come in. Um, the question is coming from Sam. Um, Sam's question is, is do Dawa rent uh, these products out? I, I talk about a rental, uh, a rental product, but do Dawa rent the product? The answer, Sam, is no, we don't. Um, <clears throat> but what we find is some of our customers, uh, especially working in the AV segment, a lot of them do provide a rental service. So Dawa don't, but we make the product the, the product that does uh, that is suitable for uh, for rental. So again, if you're if you're an AV supplier uh, or you're in the rental market, then it can be a really really cost effective solution. <clears throat> and just talking on um, expanding a little bit on the answer to Sam, that big display that we looked at in uh, in Beijing for the uh, the Olympics next year, the price of that is something like a million about a million pounds. And of course, that's a that's a huge amount of money. To to uh, to invest in a screen, but if and as I said, it sounds a lot. But if you compare that to some other display manufacturers, we've seen examples just recently of the same quality, the same technical specification, and it's a 10 meter panel from one of our competitor, 10 meter, and and this time it's uh, half a million pounds. So for 10 meters, so you think of the size of 177 square meters, the, and for a million pounds, it's it's highly highly cost effective. So in terms of the rental market, in terms of the LED market, we can blow most of our competitors out of the water. <clears throat> I also touched on the uh, the transparent LED. Um, so many, many uh, billboards are used in, in retail. Um, perhaps not, not so easy to see here, but visit our website and we can, uh, we can show you a lot more information about this. This is an, an excellent advertising tool. So customers get, a, get a, an opportunity to either look at the information that's on the display. Um, it's it's dual sided, so you can see you can see that what's going on on both sides of the uh, the display, <clears throat> or people can see straight through and look at uh, the shop display or the uh, the window dressing. In terms of the uh, the the wall solution, um, it can be integrated um, as as a uh, um, sorry, it can be a standalone solution. Or it can be integrated into uh, in, into um, a solution that encompasses LCD as well as LED. And in fact, I can see a question is just coming from uh, coming from George. It, exactly that. So George, if we'd waited a couple of moments, you'd have seen this. Uh, you'd have seen this slide. So his question, George's question was, can this be integrated into uh, in, into a solution? Well, the answer is yes, it can. Um, you can see on this slide we've got a combination of LED slide and uh, LED wall in the middle. And on either side, it's, uh, it's it's integrated with an LCD display zone, and you can see that because you can see the bezels which uh, define the individual panels. <clears throat> so again, in a, in a control room type environment, that's really important. You've got the main screen, the main viewer, if you like, which is LED, where you want a lot of quality because maybe you're looking at wide areas, you want to zoom in, etc. But then you have individual feeds from individual cameras on the LCD uh, the LCD panels at the side. But all of that is being driven from uh, from um, our matrix, <clears throat> and this is a display matrix, not a not a, a CCTV a camera matrix, is a camera monitor matrix, as, uh, as as perhaps some of us are familiar with. But good question, thanks for that, uh, and we'll we'll come on and touch a little bit more on that in a little bit more uh, a little bit more detail. Um, in terms of application scenario, well, hopefully you can uh, you can see that there are many uh, many many different possibilities. From shopping malls to uh, uh, building adver advertisements, uh, station information in transportation, uh, retail stage shows, et cetera, et cetera. There, there's, there's large amounts of uh, opportunity for, uh, for LED display walls. Okay, so that was LED. That was one sort of technology. Let's now take a look at uh, the, 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 another, perhaps a little bit more cost, cost effective and certainly more common in the market, uh, LCD video walls. So let's start by taking a look at um, the, the forecast. This is the market forecast. So this is done by independent independent research. Um, this is not in terms of um, value. This is in terms of units sold. So when you look at the uh, when you when you look at the number of these units that are sold, 
it, it's quite incredible. And Dawa actually ranks number two in the global LCD splicing display market. So in terms of in terms of joining these displays together, we, we are number two. So if you are if you are looking to to work with a partner, then please consider working with Dawa. We have a lot of experience, a lot of heritage, and a lot of very professional high-end product uh, that, that will provide a solution at, at, at every uh, at every level for for the customer. So huge amounts of uh, growth still to happen in uh, in in the uh, in the market. But let's have a look at uh, at our sales. So these are this is a a, a, a graph showing uh, from 2018, 2019, 2020 of uh, of, of our increase in in units units sold. <clears throat> so really, again, an average growth rate of over 60% per annum, which is which is great. You know that that's really really good. It's showing that there's a huge demand. It's showing that our customers have confidence in in the Dawa products and our solutions. It means that we're able to uh, that we're able to offer product with excellent solution values. So let's take a look at let's take a look if in terms of um, moving away just from the standard LCD monitor. Let's look at now combining those into make a video wall. So we have the seamless LED, or we have now a, uh, a, a video wall that is created from individual monitors. So firstly, narrow bezel screen splicing. <clears throat> this is something we're very proud of, that, uh, that we're able to offer a range of different bezel sizes. So bezel is the surround that goes around the, uh, the outside of the, the monitor. We can offer a, a range of applications depending upon what the, uh, what the requirement of the, of the customer is. Um, and in fact, it, it's we, the narrowest we manufacture is 0.88 millimeters. Customers also demand um, a, a range of different interfaces, whether that be HDMI, whether that be VGA, BNC, DVI connections. It's important that the products that we manufacture are able to to cope with all of those different uh, all of those different applications. And uh, in terms of daisy chaining, daisy chaining um, is the ability to link monitors together seamlessly without the need to, to have a matrix or some form of complicated electronics to drive the individual displays. <clears throat> and I can see just an another question's come in uh, from Brian asking a little bit about the daisy chain. Brian, we're going to come on to, to ask a little bit more detail about the, uh, to talk a little bit more detail about the daisy chain. But essentially, to answer your question quickly, it's linking monitors together with HDMI in, HDMI out, and you can create a small video wall very simply, and, and you just have one HDMI plug. We'll touch on that in just a few moments. But thank you for your question. Dif different installation options, um, of course, it, they, whether that be front maintenance, uh, so the sort of panels that we have here in our uh, innovation center in Maidenhead, <clears throat> you can push the panel and it will pop out it will pop out at you to give you easy maintenance but i've got a slide on that in just a just a few moments or whether it just be standard warm out bracket but let's look at the uh the the the, the splicing the joining together if you like of these uh of, of these individual monitors now here's a representation all the way from um as you can see on the left hand side the the bezel size is 6.7 millimeters we we produce 5.3, 3.5, 1.7, <coughs> me, or all the way down to to our smallest bezel size, which is 0 0.88 millimeters. So it's kind of almost seamless, but but not quite there. If you want totally seamless, you will need to uh, you will need to consider an LED wall. Okay, so let's go to uh, to, to Brian's question and and about the uh, the, the joining together, the, the splicing of these. Uh, how, to, how to, cr to connect these in, these individual monitors together? Essentially, what a daisy chain does is to create is, is to take four, or it can be four, it can be it can be more, it can be up to sixteen, <clears throat> and and you are able to to connect these picture these monitors together, and effectively stretch the image across uh, across this. And we're sort of probably very familiar with this sort of technology using um, maybe uh, displays on our on our desktop for for stretching windows across multiple monitors. But essentially, you start with uh, with four individual monitors. Now I've shown them slightly separated here to, uh, to to emphasize the point. But what we what we then do is we we use maybe a very narrow bezel, maybe the 0 0.88 millimeter. And essentially, what you're doing is connecting. Um, an HDMI input to monitor one, take the HDMI output and literally daisy chaining out to in all the way around until the uh, to, 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 to cover the four options. 
So essentially, by just buying uh, four bits of cable and four monitors and some mounting brackets, you've been able to uh, to, to create an, in, uh, a, a, an individual video wall. And you can do that. In this example, it's two by two, but you can go up to four by four uh, in, 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 terms of, uh, in terms of setup. All we have to do is provide it with an HDMI input, and that can come from maybe a laptop or, or some, some form of server, but something that's capable of driving <clears throat> driving a high resolution video output. And again, you can go up to uh, go up to, to, to four by four, uh, 16 monitors in uh, in total. But a very, very cost effective way using date uh, creating a video wall using daisy chain. But how do you mount them? Well, we touched on this. Uh, we touched on this a little bit earlier when we had the question from Brian. Uh, firstly, floor standing is an option. You can build these things onto uh, onto floor stands. And we again provide the uh, the hardware and the mounting brackets for that. A standard bracket is uh, the the Visa, our, our old friend, the uh, the Visa mounting bracket for for wall mounted applications. But it can be quite hard to get the alignment quite right of of, of when you're trying to align a very small bezel. Um, one of the the easier way of doing that is to use uh, one of the front maintenance brackets. And and the diagram looks really uh, looks really complicated, but actually what it is is you fix the frame to the wall. And you fix the, and then you push it in. It pops out at you. You connect the mon hang the monitor on it, connect the cables in the back, and you push it back into uh, <clears throat> push it back into location. And if you are building a video wall, then it makes it a really, really easy way to uh, to, to be able to uh, build and main, more importantly to maintain. Should you ever need to get to the the rear of the the panel. So that's, a, that's some information about how to build a video wall, if you like. Um, let's have a look at some of the individual, uh, the individual specifications. <clears throat> As you would expect, they come in a range of different sizes, 65, 55, 65, 49, 46, many, many different uh, screen sizes um, with all different sorts of color resolutions, different viewing, horizontal and vertical viewing angles of, of uh, 178 degrees, so very, very wide, uh, very, very wide viewing angle. <clears throat> and again, as I said, they come with different uh, different different bezel sizes, all the way down to uh, 0 0.88 millimeters. So a lot of uh, a lot of information um, can be portrayed, can be displayed on on a standard video wall. So uh, again, um, just to just to recap, again, you can do it either using the uh, you can use the daisy chain capability, which we uh, we talked about, um, or you can you can begin to um, you can begin to build video walls, and we're going to touch on this a little bit more when it comes to, when we come to look at the uh, digital signage product. But we can we can then start to use video walls for uh, for digital signage using uh, uh, one of our media players. <clears throat> so a, a less than a four by four option, um, you can use you can use this, uh, or you can start to use our matrix uh, our matrix product and, uh, and 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 use multiple multiple boxes. So if you want greater than four by four. Uh, you can use our, our matrix product, but we're going to touch, as I said, touch on this when we cover the next subject that we're coming on to right now, which is digital signage. So let's start by taking a look at uh, look at some of the growth in the market. Again, this is independent. Um, this is independent mar market research. And Dawa, we started this bit. We started being involved in this business all the way back in 2007, and we're now actually one of the top top 20. Uh, best-selling brands of digital signage product in in the global market, and this represents um, an increasingly uh, great opportunity to, uh, to to provide customers with an innovative solution. <clears throat> and we'll we'll touch on that opportunity in a in a little bit more detail. But there is still good growth in the uh, in in the market. So let's have a look at uh, so, so how that growth breaks down into uh, into different areas. Well, it comes as no, perhaps no, no surprise to you that retail is perhaps the highest, the highest growth area for uh, for digital signage. <clears throat> Why? Well, because it, it it offers the the retailer the opportunity to change the content of their advertising campaign or their their menu if it's a fast food restaurant. They can change it on the fly, at demand, on demand. It can be pro pre programmed. So, it, and we'll and we'll look at that in uh, in a little bit more detail later. But also, you can see catering again uh, for fast food restaurants, high growth area. You don't have to think about producing a menu. You can have a, an electronic menu. It can be linked to a touch screen. Customers can, and again, maybe some people are familiar with that. 
you can do it you can use a touch screen to order what you like the content can be very rich and it, and it can be changed constantly <clears throat> but also corporate again corporate is still still a good uh, a, a good growth area transportation and public space so there's a lot of growth in uh, in in the digital signage market and certainly something if you're not familiar with with uh, with our signage opportunity you'll see a little bit more about it in the coming slides but in addition then please don't hesitate to uh, don't hesitate to contact your local DAO representative or one of our value added resellers or distributors in order to find out a little bit more information about it <clears throat> as far as uh, DAWA's revenue is concerned. We're, we're increasing, you know, on average about about 150 percent, 147 percent year-on-year growth. So very, very good growth in uh, in this area. A lot of our customers are not only integrating or providing a digital signage solution, but often they're integrating that into maybe something to do with customer flow management. So the capacity of people within a store, and again, that can be dynamically linked into the uh, in, in, into the the signage product, so you know it, we're able to tell the customer if if there's space, uh, if there's enough capacity within the store for them to be uh, to be allowed in. If they're not, then play them some advertising, play them the offers, talk about the special offers in uh, in the store. So huge 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 amounts of uh, of opportunity there. But let's take a look at some of the uh, the individual solutions values. <clears throat> well, the first thing is it comes with a a central management platform that we call MPS. This is how we manage the media. It's how the content, if you like, is managed. And we'll touch a, a little bit more on, about that on the uh, on the next slide. It's highly efficient. So if you have a network of stores that you can and, and you have the devices in every store, at the click of a mouse, at the press of a button, you can send out the information to all of the stores simultaneously. So for example, if at 11 o'clock, um, a fast food restaurant switches from a breakfast menu to lunch menu, it, it can be pre-programmed, it can be timed, it can um, be at the click of a mouse, as I said. So a very efficient way of being able to utilize different uh, different menus. It's also possible to uh, send a customized message. So it's very, very intelligent in terms of uh, the message content. It could be feature rich. So <clears throat> you can send high quality, high definition images to the uh, to the individual screen. In fact, in address um, an, an, an individual screen uh, from from a central point. We make many many different uh, product forms, whether it be wall hanging, freestanding, mounted from the ceiling, whatever. We we make a, a solution for every application. And of course, it's a, it's a, um, a flexible in terms of its solution, so we can talk to an individual panel, as you'll see in a moment. Um, or you can talk to, to, to multiple at the same time. It's a totally scalable, a scalable solution. <clears throat> and, uh, and as we often find, a lot of this um, information is sent across a corporate network. So from the IT, the IT point of view, it's important that the IT director knows that it, that it is a, a very flexible and scalable solution. So a uh, lot of information on this slide, uh, but we'll send the slides around to you, uh, round, round to you afterwards, so that you. Uh, you, you really get a, a, a bit more information than, uh, than you can perhaps read on this slide. But the key thing is, this is all about the central management platform. And it can be controlled either from a, a computer, a laptop computer, or a server, or you can even, you can do it on the fly from a, a mobile device. The key thing is here, <clears throat> if you're using this type of solution or technology, it comes with the MPS 3.0 management platform, comes with 20 channels for free. Okay, so you, you buy the box, you get 20 channels free. So you can drive 20 devices right off the bat, all included in the price. And if you want then to go to 21 channels or 22 channels, uh, I can see there's a, there, okay, as I was speaking, a question was coming in from, from Dave saying, okay, if I, if I have 22 channels or 23 channels, do I have to buy a block of, of, of 20, another block of 20? Well, the answer, Dave, is no, you don't. Uh, you, you simply buy per channel, per channel, you buy a single channel license. So if you want 20, 22, you use your, your free, the 20 free that come with it and you buy two additional channels. <clears throat> so it's a very flexible and scalable license, uh, li license platform. Good question, thanks Dave. Okay, um, in, terms of, uh, in terms of efficiency, well, 
it's if we go back a little while and, and we always say go back to the old days when people used to use a lot of posters you still see posters being used in uh, in in stores even today so we talk about conventional we talk about old style advertising there is still a lot of uh, there's still a lot of retail advertising done using paper and of course there's a high production cost to that but more importantly there's a high uh, cost to the environment of uh, producing this paper all of these large paper posters and, and hanging signs, et cetera, that can uh, that, that ultimately end end up in uh, in landfill or in recycling. We're as a company, we're very uh, we're, we're we're a very green, environmentally friendly company, and, and we're, therefore we want to make sure that we uh, we limit the impact. This technology allows us to to limit the impact on the environment, as well as providing all of the um, the, the rich features that we were we were talking about a little bit earlier on. <clears throat> so over on the right hand side, you see the real time advertising. This is the difference. We can use displays. It's a one time purchase. OK, and then you get all of the solution values that we've been talking about of rich features, rich content, etc. The ability to, uh, to to pre program and time events and menus, etc. And change the, uh, the the information on the fly. This isn't so much, uh, I mean, this is used today. There's a lot of, as we've seen, the market is very big and the market is growing. But so this isn't so much futuristic technology, but the future is coming from uh, advances in production techniques that is allowing Dawa to produce more and more cost-effective solutions. The good news for, for our customers is that it now is becoming more affordable. If you go back 12 years when I, when I first sort of got involved in digital signage, it was for the reserve of the rich, for the reserve of the very high-end retailers that could afford this. It is now with, with advances in production techniques and technology, it, the price is, is, is coming down and down, which is making it much more, afford, much more affordable. So if you thought perhaps digital signage was, uh, was unaffordable for your customers, have another look. Talk to your local DAWA representative and, uh, and let us give you some pricing. And again, as, a, as I always say on webinars, the world looks good in, in PowerPoint. Everything looks good. We can make everything look good in PowerPoint. Don't trust the PowerPoint. Have a word with your local DAO representative. Arrange a demo. doesn't matter whether that's a, 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 a thermal image, one of our new one series thermal imaging cameras that detects, detects smoking or use a mobile. Try the camera. Try the product. No matter what it is, we've got, a, we've got a demo product and demo stock available. Try it out. See what you think for yourself. Same with signage. Same with displays. We can uh, we can easily arrange that. But talking about uh, the ability to program, we we touched on this earlier. Um, the ability to to change the content as we uh, as we go uh, throughout the day. So as I said, it may be at seven o'clock the breakfast menu comes up in a fast food restaurant. <clears throat> Eleven o'clock you switch to uh, switch to the lunch menu. In the afternoon you start trying to sell cakes and uh, and pastries. I, I don't know whatever the content is. Whatever the whatever the customer needs, it's possible to to preload, pre-program, and and send that out in a in a timed form. So, what products make up? We talked about the uh, the, the solution components, if you like. Uh, well, we have a range of different, as you would expect from Dowell. We have a range of product. We don't just make one. And um, so, whether it be indoor, uh, an indoor application, whether it be an outdoor application, we have a product for for both uh, for both solutions there. And of course, that that is controlled, as you'll see on the next slide, by the uh, Android Media uh, Media Player box. <clears throat> that that's the device, if you like, that's driving the, uh, the the signage product. And again, that is linked, of course, as you'll see on the uh, on the next slide. That's like linked to uh, to our management software, the MPS, that comes with the uh, the 20 licenses, and that's responsible for addressing the individual panels wherever they may be, whether they be in the same uh, same retail retail outlet. Or whether they be dispersed across uh, across the uh, the city, the town, the country, or or even the uh, you know whichever part of the uh, the continent you wish to uh, to send your uh, video content to. So the applications are probably uh, very varied, as you can see. Retail tends to be, as we saw, uh, but also commercial. A lot of a lot of uh, people are starting to use um, digital signage product for commercial applications. Uh, uh, perhaps for uh, as part of emergency evacuation procedures, you know, a number of people in in the building, etc. So lots of different uh, lots of different applications. Again, if you're you know like a foreign exchange, um, a foreign exchange, if you're a travel agent, 
uh, you know, where you display the, uh, you can display the, um, the, the, the individual exchange rate country by country. That's possible now to, to if you were, you know, a, a large travel agent or a, a foreign exchange currency provider, then you can change that on the fly to all of your stores instantaneously. Okay. Um, and as I said, also, um, don't forget that retail is, uh, is, is a primary driver for this. Here's a, an example of um, how BP have implemented our digital signage product into, uh, into their retail stores. Um, and of course, uh, transportation. Uh, transportation is, is, is very key, providing information on uh, you know, arrival, um, departures, etc. And again, here's a, another retail example where, where people are using the, um, the signage product to greet people as they come in the store. So for example, special offer uh, on, 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 this particular, on this particular brand or product. If all that information could be changed uh, very quickly. So really an excellent um, digital signage representing uh, an excellent opportunity. <clears throat> so the last, uh, the last part of the displays section is, uh, is very much about interactive displays. So when we talk about interactive displays, um, we're, we're often uh, talking about things like, you know, meeting room or conference, conference venues, conferencing rooms, etc. And a lot of uh, a lot of problems. Uh, it, it, traditionally, it used to be very simple. It used to be an overhead projector, and, and an acetate slide, and, and that was it. But maybe I'm showing my uh, showing my age a little bit. Customers d are demanding, quite rightly, because we're used to uh, used to many many different uh, high quality images, sharing of information, etc. So the, a lot of the problems of the past are things like non unified interfaces. Is it DVI? Is it HDMI? Is it SVHS? Is it analog? You know, it, <clears throat> HDMI, et cetera, et cetera. Also, cluttered cables, complex operations. Information is not, not always clear. Um, the resolution varies from source to source. Uh, many, many, very, very, very different to, uh, very, very difficult to interact and, and, uh, and, and provide good quality images because often you, you rely maybe on a, on a projector to, uh, to, to provide this functionality. And in education. Um, you know, often uh, dry whiteboards are, uh, are are often used, but they need a lot of a lot of cleaning. Uh, there's no interaction with uh, with students, <clears throat> and and again, there are there are many different solutions that are that are needed. So how can technology help? Well, technology can help by bringing in or combining, if you like, uh, ultra high definition displays, 4K type resolution uh, displays, wide viewing angles, smart displays. To have interactivity built in, and and if you add those solutions, those those individual components together, you end up with um, the the Dawa solution. These are some of the solution values. So uh, touched on um, ultra high definition. So 4K resolution, wide viewing angle. So it doesn't matter where you're sat in the conference room or the education facility, uh, you have a, a a very very good viewing angle. Uh, dual system. So there's, uh, we can we can provide an Android system as standard or an optional um, an optional Windows solution. Uh, it can be wireless, so you can do wireless sharing of tablets, devices, smartphones, etc. And of course, it's stable, so it is uh, it is a very good uh, a very good and stable solution. Uh, we can also offer we can also offer great clarity. So, you know, it not only is it, uh, a high, you know, high definition, it's 4K ultra high definition. So if you want to share information, uh, it's very, very easy, easy to do that. Um, not only is it important to have the ability to share, to share good quality information, it's also important that we're able to, uh, to provide different um, applications using, as I said, Windows as, uh, as an example. Uh, we have an app that allows you to, uh, to, to integrate. So, so Windows, Windows is an option. Android is uh, is, is a standard, but the ability to, to be able to provide these different interfaces makes it very very key. And of course, if you're using this in a, an educational environment or or indeed a conferencing facility, it's really important that you're able to see this from uh, from a wide viewing angle from from all different angles. So we offer 178 degrees horizontal viewing angle. In fact, 178 degrees vertical as well, but we tend to look directly at the uh, at the display, making the, the the horizontal angle the most important. But 178 degrees is is a very very wide viewing angle, and of course that that is is possible because we have an anti glare design. So the amount of reflectivity from uh, external light sources 
make the screen easy to uh, easy to read. <clears throat> and of course, uh, making it possible through wireless interaction, uh, through sharing information from tablets, smartphones, it, from different computers around around the room, all of that information can be uh, can be sent uh, seamlessly to the uh, to the panel. And of course, uh, smart writing, as as you would expect, the ability to uh, the ability to write on the board. Um, it, it's done with um, uh, with an electronic pen, uh, so and, and that information can be stored. Notes fields can be taken, uh, so you could do, and you can also do it with uh, with your finger as well. And of course, you can, as you would expect, be able to stitch these displays together, so you're able to stretch images across multiple multiple screens of um, as you would uh, as you as you would be able to do it with a normal video wall. Um, here's just a few uh, a few case studies uh, of different conference rooms that uh, where we've installed around the room. Um, <clears throat> I think we uh, I, I didn't uh, I didn't review this slide because we we should have used some UK ones there. Uh, but I'll uh, I'll update these with UK venues and uh, and send them out when we uh, when we send the presentation round to you uh, a little bit later on uh, today. So just to wrap up the last uh, the last few slides um, before you uh, before you have a bit of fun and take uh, take the quiz if you uh, if you want to get involved in that uh, is about smart smart networking. So really, uh, Dawa is a is a big player in the uh, in 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 the networking product pro provision in the security industry, and we're we're very conscious of the fact that when we design when we design a, a switch or a piece of network network equipment. We're designing it for the for use in the security industry. Most of the product that most of the switches that you that you can buy, uh, you know, in in the uh, in the IT industry are for the IT industry. The products that we're designing are are designed very much and for, specifically for use in the CCTV industry. Well, let's take a few moments to look at why why that is so. If you look at the the requirements of IT versus security, generally speaking, and, and this is a big generalization. But generally speaking, the amount of data that's sent on on in you know, for, for sending emails backwards and forwards is is relatively low. Uh, whether that be a web page or an email or a, a, a message, etc., generally the amount of data is is quite small. And if you contrast that with the uh, with with CCTV, the use within the security industry, it's very big because we're sending big video files. And even with Dawa's latest com compression algorithms, if you aggregate all of that together, there's a lot of information moving across the network. And that's why it's important that if we're designing uh, switches and networking a, a wireless transmission equipment, which we do, we are designing it specifically for use in the security industry. And we're designing it with no latency. We're designing it because we know it's used 24-7. It's 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 in constant use and it's sending large video files and we know also that latency is is a big issue so we want to cut that down where, wherever possible. So let's have a look at some of the solution values of our uh, second generation uh, PoE switches and networking equipment. <clears throat> well, to start with, and we'll touch on these in just a few moments uh, in a bit in a bit more detail. But firstly, it's it they offer intelligent PoE. So this is the ability to create VIP ports with, within the switch, so that we can ensure that the uh, we can ensure that the the camera, the product, the device is is always is always powered. Uh, also, we can do long distances because we know in security, 100 meters isn't always practical. Often there's a camera, especially on for perimeter protection, uh, where where you need longer than 100 meters with sort of standard IT. Our IT distances for uh, for PoE, so we can break break through that that barrier and offer up to uh, up to a thousand meters. We also have a watchdog, so the, the 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 individual port of the switch is monitoring the activity, it's monitoring the data that that's going on on that port. If there's inactivity, then it can it can uh, kick in the watchdog feature and reboot the port. And it's 802.3bt 90 watt compliant, so the ability to provide 90 watts of power ac across the, uh, the, the the switch's output. So in terms of that, let's stick on the uh, let's stick stick on the subject of, uh, of of power and power management and how we prioritize the uh, the, the power allocation. 
Now, all, all POE switches have what, what's known as a, a budget. So if you like, there's the, in this example, the budget for the, for the, the switches, sorry, the port for the POE switch is 60 watts. So if we have, uh, if we connect here, for example, uh, four devices, each, each demanding or drawing 20, 20 watts of power, you can see the requirement is 80, the capacity of the switch is 60, and therefore what will happen is the switch will shut down <clears throat> and it will cut off the power to, to all, of those, all of those devices. With the Dower switch, it, it is able to prioritize the, prioritize the power. So in the same scenario, it's 60 watts capability, but the demand is 80. It will still provide power for three of the ports, making the 60 watts, and it will close down just one port. And of course, that's configurable um, depending upon the, uh, the individual port that you, that you want, to, want to configure. But again, here's a really good example of, as, as to how Dawa is designing a switch specifically for the security industry rather than just using a standard IT product. One of the other areas that we said was very important is also long distance. And we know with normal, normal IT segment switches, the, the distance, cat five, cat five distance is 100 meters. With Dawa, you can, with, with standard UTP, uh, you can transmit up to 250 meters as standard. If you have the um, ePOE, the extended uh, PoE, you can transmit up to 800 meters using our standard switches. And again, think about that. This is, again, Dawa designing a product for the security industry rather than just a standard IT product. And again, if you, if you want to use a piece of coax, you can, uh, you can buy the devices and you can convert them very, very cost effective. Uh, and you can convert up to um, a kilometer plus 100 meters at either end of, the, of, of, of IP um, to, into connectivity. So you're able to, to expand massively the, the range between the, the distance between the switch and the product uh, using, using a, DAWA, a DAWA product. But what about uh, the, the port management? Well, Dawa also features what we call red ports, um, and you can uh, you may not be able to see, but on the on the switch here, uh, we have a couple of a couple of red ports, and these are capable of of delivering 90 watts per port uh, across either port. So again, the same thing, the same the same rules of of, of power management apply. Uh, so if the rating of the of the switch, or or in this device this device, for example. The rating of that is is uh, 90 watts. Uh, you can connect up to 90 watts, either combined across the individual ports or one port providing the uh, or drawing 90 watts. So very very flexible and very very high power, and that's only set as you can imagine to uh, to, to increase. Okay, uh, watchdog timer uh, again. Looking to uh, looking if the data is is kept alive. If the, if the camera crashes, if it detects the camera's crashed, it will cycle the power to the camera and then auto recover. So we're able to minimize downtime, solve most of the problems, and of course, avoid the need to, uh, avoid the need to, to visit site. And one of the, uh, what, well, the last area uh, of, the, uh, of the webinar, the last few slides, is to talk about uh, smart transmission. So this this um, iLinks view is a is a box that you're able to buy you buy from Dawa. It's got a got the our connectors on the back, and again it can be uh, it, it can be desk mounted or rack mounted, as you as you can see here. Um, this iLinks view is a maintenance and, and network managing platform. So effectively, uh, you, you, it will help you to uh, manage and maintain the the network. So this is a as I said a standalone box. Uh, let's have a look at some of the uh, the features of, uh, of of that box, some of the values of the box. Firstly, it's got intelligent analytics, so it 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 constantly monitors, and you'll see um, you'll you'll see some examples of that in a moment. Uh, it will constantly monitor the condition of the network. It will manage the network, so it allows us to integrate different networking devices together. It gives us a a a, a, a standardized dynamic view of the network, we can see the topology as you'll see on the next slide. And if there's any network alarms that, have, uh, that, that are coming up, then uh, it, 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 will give you, uh, it will give you that as, uh, as, as a user. So here's an example of that dynamic view. 
um, so it allows you to see the topology of the network. It allows you to see device visualization. It can you can see the links and the connectivity between and the bandwidth. Uh, you can see all of this information pop, popping up. And I, I see uh, that there's a message from uh, sorry a, a chat question coming in from Sarah. Sarah's asking, will will this will the uh, will the box just work with Dawa products? Uh, the answer is no. It, it will work with other manufacturers as well. Uh, so please don't don't just think it's limited to Dawa. It is uh, it, it is a product that can be used across multiple manufacturers. In terms of the display, it gives you real time uh, analysis of of network conditions. Uh, so again, it really really helps you build, maintain, monitor, and manage your your network. Very very cost effective. Probably around about I, I don't know the exact price, but around about two hundred pounds. So as a networking management and, and monitoring tool, very, very cost effective. But nobody's asked the question, where can I buy Dawa products? So I'm gonna tell you, because hopefully we've uh, stimulated on this webinar, we've, uh, we've stimulated your interest in, in some of our products. Uh, as I said, we welcome you to, uh, to, to contact us. Please contact your, your local Dawa authorized distributor or authorized reseller. Uh, or go to our website and, and find out where to buy. So there's a QR code as to where to buy Dawa products, or you can uh, you can type in the uh, you type in the, the 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 website address at the bottom. So thank you for listening. I hope you've enjoyed uh, this this webinar. Apologies for for being a little late in in kickoff today, um, but finally let's just uh, let's just give you the opportunity to uh, download the uh, Kahoot app once again. Have a play, and you can win a, a goodie bag full of uh, full of Dawa giveaway. So some really nice quality uh, merchandise that we can uh, we can supply you. So thank you once again. Is that please keep sending uh, send those uh, those questions through. Uh, my details are there on the screen. Um, you're you're welcome to uh, to connect with me uh, to send me the information. As I said, we have a network of value added distributors and resellers that that are available. Uh, as I said, or continue to uh, continue to use the chat. So those are my details. My name was Simon Nash. Thank you for, uh, for, for listening, and I hope you enjoyed the webinar. I'll leave you with the, uh, the, this screen for you to uh, take part in the Kahoot app, and, uh, and it will be on until noon today. So uh, in fact, we'll probably make it a little bit, a little bit longer than that. We'll leave it on until uh, 1 p.m. today, so you've got plenty of time. It's a bit of fun. It's five questions. Everything that I've said is, uh, is covered in the, uh, the webinar. So please don't hesitate to take part. Uh, look forward to talking to you on the next webinar. Thank you very much for attending.